What's up, y'all? It's been a while, and I have no excuses, but I have a lot of topics to discuss, starting with this one. How to build confidence as a man. You know, there was a time where I used to be afraid to talk to girls, and then all of a sudden, it seemed as if I just wasn't. It seemed like I had no issue. Now, I can't tell you what came first. It's a culmination of things. But off top, let me just let me just say this, a little disclaimer. It's like, bro, everybody shits. You know what I mean? Everybody has their imperfections. Everybody has their flaws, you know? And it's because of that I never lose sight of that. I never pedestalize anyone. I just, you know, address everyone pretty much the same, more or less, until they give me reasons to treat them lesser than, or to dissociate, or to, I don't know, put them higher up on the priority list. But I I don't know, I, I don't even really keep that in mind. It's just something that I innately understand and uh, so no moment is ever too big for me, no matter who I meet, uh, no matter who I come into contact with. But I think one of the things that has made the biggest growth in my life in the past couple of years is working out, exercising. When I decided I was gonna be sober when I was in the psych ward, I told myself that I was gonna bulk up. Now, throughout the duration of my adult life, I'd pretty much been 120 something pounds. And then three years ago, when I decided to get sober, and I said I would bulk up, I think within that first month, I gained like 10 pounds. And uh, ultimately that year, I was up about 20 pounds at the most, and I've been able to sustain it, constantly working out, constantly pushing myself. There's something about pushing yourself and seeing it through, building up some level of competency that will make you feel confident, you know? So that's definitely uh, has made a difference. Of course, there's been things like uh, having a child and then you're kind of forced to the forefront. You're forced to address people. You're forced to do the things that you would, if it were just you, that you would probably otherwise avoid if you could. You know what I mean? You know, so it is I who have to, I'm the one taking her to the doctor's appointments, talking to the doctor about this and that. I had to get her in school, you know, it's, it's all uncharted territory. But in doing all these things, you, you start to see why the adults who were the adults when we were kids, you start to see what made them adults because they did a lot of the things that you really don't want to do. But in doing it, you build up uh, some uh, competence, you know, that's what you call adulting. All right. And uh, the process of elimination has also helped me a bit because uh, I'm kind of indifferent about a lot of things, things that bother people. Like some things that, that bother most people that also bothers me is a little bit uh, so fear of what others may have to say. That still bothers me a little bit, but not so much because I've, I've started to become indifferent to things like uh, if people will approach me or not, as far as women, you know, if this woman will approach me or how do I look in front of this woman or how my shoes look, how do I look when I step out? You know, I'm indifferent to those things because it's just not at the top of my priority list. And that's the thing, a lot of people's priorities are all messed up. And 
uh, they give people added importance that they don't really need. Or they put people on a higher level than they put themselves on. And really, you can't even afford to do that. All right. And uh, in my solitude, and I'm a big fan of that, I learned a lot about what it means to be me. You got to know who you are so when people try to tell you about yourself, it doesn't affect you. It doesn't throw you off. It doesn't have you doubting yourself. You know what I mean? And it's very important because this is your life that you don't have that doubt in you, that you do have this innate belief in yourself even when things aren't going your way. And to be able to address and, the, and tackle each problem as they come up and not let them build on you. Because eventually they will weaken your defenses and defeat you. So you gotta have a, I won't be denied, complex about yourself, belief about yourself. And uh, this belief that the people around you, although you may have some envy or some jealousy towards them, you could also have those things. It's going to take a lot of time at the drawing board, a lot of banging your head against the wall, a lot of frustration, a lot of disappointment, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of cutting people off, people that you've known your whole life. And um, I would say those are the things that made the biggest difference in my life. If I had to pick what was most important, man, it's, it's, it's a combination of things, solitude and what I do in that solitude. Solitude is one thing, to get away from the crowd so my voice can be the loudest in my head and what I do in that solitude constantly journaling to get to know more about what it means to be myself as well as like I said constantly constantly working out nothing builds confidence like working against resistance adversity and coming out stronger you know and it's heavily it's incentivized. You look at the people around you, how unhealthy they are. You look at where you were and you see how far along you've come and you don't wanna break the chain. You don't wanna stop the momentum. And so even to me, uh, to this day, I can't 100% say I like working out it's just something that I do. I just do it. I don't even think if I like it or not. If it's time to work out, it's just time to work out. And um, that's how you build confidence as a man, knowing you're making progress. You don't have to compare yourself to other people just to where you were. But if you can see where you're making progress, if you can right your wrongs and hold yourself accountable and you will build confidence.